Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Thursday. Hopefully you guys are opening your weekend league rewards. Hopefully they are going well. I assume there's a lot of gold three action going around. A lot of gold three rewards. Good luck with those. It seems like everybody's playing the gold three these days. Uh, and that kind of ex that explains why the market sell-offs are usually on Saturdays as well. Uh, because people get their games done. And they just sell their teams and stuff like that. Uh, but that's besides the point. Uh, but good luck on those rewards today if you are opening them. We need to talk about the next promo that is coming in this game. That is Team of the Group Stage. Um, I want to start off by talking about what happened last year in this promo. I just did a bunch of research, looked back at some of my videos from a year ago, looked at some price graphs and stuff like that during the promo. I want to talk about what we got last year, um, the time frame, how it's different from this year compared to last year as well, with Black Friday being a, a week later this year than it was last year. I think that affects a few things on the market uh, and the way it's going to go this year. So let's take a look at a FIFA 19 team of the group stage, which actually I may be wrong on this, but this might have been the first loading screen that we actually got in foot. This might have been the first loading screen that we got last year. I could be wrong about that. Um, but this promo came out this week last year, and it kind of makes sense that it has to come out this week because um, they're going to get into foot miss and get into the Christmas time if they uh, push it off another week, uh, especially with Road to the Final stuff happening. Uh, we'll talk about those cards in today's video as well. But this is a loading screen that we saw last year. Messi, Neymar, and Bale. Uh, and this, this caused a lot of panic on the market last year. When they put this loading screen up, it was Thursday... It was like late Thursday, I think. Late Thursday is when they put this load, loading screen up last year. I do think there's a possibility that we will get a loading screen, uh, loading screen today on Thursday after 6 p.m. UK. They've been doing a loading screen uh, for every promo so far this year, and I would expect another one to come really soon. Probably like a car design. You'll see that on Twitter, and probably like the overlay of the pack design as well. So look out for that stuff on Twitter today. I think it is going to be coming, and that was would be real true signs. That the promo is actually coming itself. I want to take a look at the squad really fast. I'm gonna look at it on Footman because I, I think it's easier. We had a we had a ton of really really big name guys last year: Messi, Neymar, Lewandowski, Griezmann, Bale, Eriksen. Like this starting eleven is fantastic. The player selection was fantastic. The upgrades weren't that amazing to be honest. Um, I think at this point Eriksen already had an inform or two, and he was getting another card. So um, Lewa probably had an inform last year as well. Lewa got a decent. Um, upgrade from what I remember last year um, but a lot of these cards were position change and that is where the hype was on these cards I mean we had the uh, the striker Griezmann we had the center attacking mid Neymar who made waves on the game last year we'll look at some of that and talk about what happened with that card last year and then we had some solid Europa League cards as well with Lo Celso this is when the rise of Havertz started to happen before he got his FFS card. Dybala on the bench. This is a card that I traded with for like the rest of the year of FIFA. Uh, and Loftus-Cheek as well. I made a lot of coins in that card last year. So really solid team selection last year, to be honest. Um, and it was a pack promo. This this promo is basically based on uh, a promo team that is in packs. They're going to run lightning rounds again. They're going to sell out fast, just like they always do. Um, but last year, these cards were really rare. Their pack weight was really, really low, kind of like uh, Road to the Finals this year. And uh, that made really fun trading with these guys for the rest of the year, and especially during this promo. So I want to take a look at some of the objectives and SBCs we got this year as well. We got one objective player. It was Marco Parolo. Now, these are not live items, and this is something that a lot of people got mixed up with last year. And I think it, they got mixed up with it because... Um, we had so many live items coming out. We had one to watch. We had the brand new Road to the Final cards, and those were live. So every every time we got a card, people were like, oh, it's a live item. Well, these were not actually live items. And, that, and you'll see if we look at some graphs that they acted like live items sometimes. But be assured, these are not live, okay? They're not going to be live this year. They were not live last year. This is a team, basically, of some of the best performers throughout the group stages of Champions League football. Now, it's actually not over yet, right? The group stages are not over just yet, but they released this promo just before the end of them, uh, just because of the time frame that it is. And they run the promo in that time frame. So we had one objective last year, it was Parolo, and then we had a couple SBCs. One of the first SBCs was Tony Cruz, and I actually did this SBC last year. This one was good value. I mean, all you it was one squad. All you had to do was turn in an 85 rated squad. Is that what it was? 
Uh, no, there's a couple. No, I forget what this says. It says uh, 83 nationalities, two. It was very cheap. This squad was very, very cheap. I didn't know that. Um, but that was a solid card. That was the best value SBC out of all of them. I think this was like 120K or something like that, if I remember correctly. We had a Laporte card, which a lot of people did, but it was um, it was decently pricey. And then we had a very, very pricey. Um, yeah, look at this. This Insigne uh, striker card, which was very good, but four different squads you had to turn in for the Insigne. It was, um, it was very overpriced in my opinion, but that was an SBC that we did get last year. So we got Insigne, we got Laporte, and we got Tony Cruz with one objective being Parolo. And last week, what they also did during this promo was they put out a lot of the um, the UCL SBCs. Like last year, we only got UCLs from uh, SBCs and Pack Supply. So we saw a lot of those SBCs last year that were in the store as well. Um, a lot of like UCL, whatever, upgrade, SBCs, stuff like that. But I want to talk about the impl implications of this promotion right now and where we are at right now in FIFA. I do think this promo is coming and I do think that it's going to cause some waves on the market. So last year, of course, I want to talk about that Neymar card a little bit more. Neymar this year and Neymar that last year are basically uh, the same in terms of hype. Neymar this year is literally one of the best cards in the game. Right now he's right around a million coins, 1060. 1059 is the the cheapest version of Neymar on the market at the moment and last year what happened was we got this loading screen on foot and basically it showed that we were getting a center attack in mid Neymar I don't know if you guys remember this at all but um this Neymar right here was super super expensive first day and this uh 93 Neymar which had just been in packs for best of team of the week during Black Friday this card took a massive, massive hit. I was on Xbox last year, so you're going to be hearing some Xbox prices when I'm talking about this. But this guy was like 900, he was like 950 or something like that, maybe even over a million coins. And uh, the dude went from that 950, almost a mil, all the way down to 830, 820,000 coins um, when this loading screen came out. There was a ton of panic selling on Neymar, which also then circled to many other areas of the market last year because of this loading screen, because of the position change Neymar and the upgrade and people saw that card and they're like, oh my goodness, that card's insane. Like there was a ton of hype for this Neymar card last year because of the position change and because that this card was in so many teams. But when that card came out, this that Neymar, this one right here was like 3 million coins first day or like whatever million coins. It was insanely expensive. Um, can we reload here flipping? Thank you that nobody could buy it, man. Look at this, 3.4 million first day is what it shows on Friday. He went down to like 2.7, but still, that's over double the price of what this card was. So then this inform, uh, one of the biggest flips last year that you could have made early on in the game. This guy was like 830K on Xbox. He went all the way back up to 980,000 coins in the span of one day. Literally in the span of one day, Friday morning panic selling on these cards was crazy so that's the kind of stuff that i want you guys to be prepared for i want you to be ready for you should be ready for it uh for thursday like a thursday night or a friday morning panic sell you should have all your weekend league flips completed so that shouldn't be an issue there um but i want to talk about the areas of the market that i think you're going to see the panic selling hit the most and hit the heaviest obviously depending on who gets into this team of the group stage we just had a best of team of the week that so many people invested in and uh, a lot of people are going to be dumping these cards today on the market and trying to sell them. Ben Yedder was down at like 180, 190,000 coins. A lot of people bought him at like 200, that range. He's now up to 230. Some people have taken their coins. I'm I'm sure that a lot of people have just held him as well. Watch that card today. There might be some, uh, his card might stay the same or maybe even drop a little bit today because I feel like these best of team of the weeks are over invested in. But... If we get a loading screen with a couple guys on the screen for that promo and you start to see a lot of panic selling, that's one reason why this Neymar card from last year, that 93 left wing, the left forward, yes, it was very popular, but um, it had so much supply from being in best of team of the week for Black Friday that that just accentuated the panic sell because so many people had that card. He was in packs again for a second week and that could see if any of these guys that got best of team of the week and we're talking um hazard i don't think maybe could get probably won't get in um mane i don't would i wouldn't really expect for him to get in because he already has a um 
UCL live card. He's got the inform as well. But if any of the best of team of the week guys do end up get in it, getting in, um, you could see some big time panic selling on those cards. And you could also see some panic selling on informs. Uh, I'm going to go over here and take a quick look at some of the best guys so far that have played in Champions League. Lewandowski, um, Holland, Kane, Sterling, Son. Uh, all these guys are some of the top scorers so far. Lataro Martinez is a good possibility to get one of these cards. Uh, they could throw in an Mbappe this year. I don't really, you, you don't see the possibility for a Neymar, but I think Lewandowski is a shoe in. I think Harry Kane should be in. I think Sterling should be in. So there's a lot of people that are on this list. A lot of really, really solid cards that we could see um, in this promo. And it really just depends on what cards EA wants to put out. I didn't really go back and look at the stats from last year to see like who are the guys they put in. Uh, and stuff like that, like what those cards actually did. Um, but I want to look at, always when you get a new team of promo cards, I want you guys to learn how to be, um, to know when a new promo card is going to be valuable and be useful based on um, that position and that league and where that player fits in uh, amongst all the other types of players in his area of the game. So like last year, this center back Socrates in the, in the Premier League last year, we only had a couple center backs at this point in the game. We had UCL Live VVD, we had Van Dyke, and those were like the main two guys that you would use in your team. Did I say UCL Live VVD? I said UCL Live VVD and Van Dyke. I meant to say UCL Live Davinson Sanchez and Van Dyke. Van Dyke technically had a UCL Live card as well. But this Socrates comes into the game, really solid card, right? 72 pace, 86 defending, 84 physical. Um, medium high work rate, which is perfect. And this guy was amazing, amazing to flip. Like literally, he was phenomenal for flipping. And um, this guy kind of broke the market a little bit. You saw some panic selling on that road to the final, Dominson Sanchez. And that's another area this year where I want you guys to really, really take a look on. If we see, since these are like Champions League related cards, if you see panic selling on any of the road to the finals, uh, scream cards. Those cards are very, very rare in this game, especially as Road to the Finals. And if you see any panic selling on these cards because of another one coming out, um, that would be something that I would say is to, an opportunity to keep a very, very close eye on because these cards are going to get upgraded uh, next week. Next week is the last uh, match day is match day six of Champions League. So definitely watch these guys because they're going to get upgraded next week if they're moving on, which a lot of them are. And if, let's say they get a team of the group stage card, so like, um, maybe like Varane. I don't know if Varane's been playing well or not. This is just an example. This might not be correct at all, but this is just an example. Let's say Varane gets a team of the group stage card. You might see some panic selling on Militao um, just because it's Real Madrid, and Varane is arguably another one of the most um, used center backs in this game. So maybe people go sell their Militao to try the Varane, right? You, that would be a massive opportunity to go buy this Militao card because it's going to get upgraded in a couple days and it's still one of the best center backs in the game. Um, and people would probably try to play those two together. That might not be the best example, but let's say we uh, maybe get like, um, I don't know, we already have a Martial, we have a Mane. What would be another good example? Let's say we maybe get like, oh, we, had a, we have a Bale and a Dembele. Man, I can't think of a good example here. What if we said, like, we got a, let's say Nabry. Let's say Nabry gets a massive card and this Sancho goes down in price. Dortmund isn't necessarily guaranteed to go on to the next round. They have to have a good game to get there, I think, based on the standings. But if you see this card drop down a bunch in price, uh, that could be a, a pickup. A pickup opportunity in the panic sell, a buy, and then sell later when he goes back up into the next week. So that's what I want you guys to focus on. You get the gist of it, right? Watch out for the panic this week on Friday morning before the promo, that's where you should see a lot of the panic and that's where you should pick up on a lot of the cards. That's where it happened last year that Neymar went down to 830K on his inform and then it went back up to just around a million coins about after that. So watch the panic on Friday morning on Thursday when they put out the promo screen. If they have players in that promo screen, really keep an eye on that and watch those cards. Now, other stuff that moved during the promo, like I mentioned, the road to the final cards, there's definitely an opportunity there for those to, to uh, drop in price if there's a um, a substitute good, basically, that comes on the market for that card, kind of replacing it or drawing hype to that one. Um, maybe you, like, let's say we couldn't have a Sané, but let's say there's a left wing in the Prem that comes out in Team of the Group stage and this card drops in price. 
this uh, Rose of the Final Mane, which will be getting upgraded because Liverpool is going on. That would be a great place to pick up on some of the panic. That's like a, the 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 substitute good, not compliments. Substitute good kind of trading with the panic selling, and that that's why Neymar went down because people want to go get his other card instead of his left wing, left forward in form. So keep an eye on some of that stuff, especially that's the main point that I wanted to make to you guys today. Um, and again, I'm really really be careful with some of those best of team of the week cards um and just because they have so much supply and if you see one of those get panic sold especially if it's a really popular one like a Mane, even a hazard um or uh i'm not sure a nine golan but maybe a dibala possibly if you see any panic selling on any of those they're all top tier cards so you should see a bit of a rebound there and of course look for the link investments some of the link investments are going to rise let's say we get like a maybe like somebody from the syria or from roma um, like Juan Jesus obviously is a, a due for an upgrade as Roma could definitely move on. The card's like 80K right now. He's up a ton already from where he was at his lowest point. Um, but maybe we see like a right back come out from maybe like uh, from Roma or a Brazilian right back or some other card that links to Juan Jesus, like a green link. You're looking for the green links. That would be the, the, um, the complimentary good to one of those. You could see a price like this go up even more. So stuff like that is what we could really look out for for Team of the Goop stage. Again, if we go back and flip in and look at this squad from last year, um, these guys were so, so rare. Um, and they were they were cards that were coming out of the market that people could slot right into their teams. There was a lot of, uh, like, uh, we had three Barcelona players last year. So there was a lot of players from uh, a couple different teams. I think we had two from Bayern as well. We had Lewandowski and Hummels, of course. Uh, then we had Neymar, was any other PSG, not in this team. Uh, but there was a lot of the Barcelona players. So that's the kind of stuff that you can really look out for. And then position changes as well. These cards are rare. They're position changes. That means people are going to pay the big bucks for them. And that means they're going to fluctuate like crazy. I remember last year, this Griezmann card, the very first night. I think I, I just watched one of my own YouTube videos from last year where this Griezmann card was like 500,000 coins flat Friday night around midnight UK time, maybe like 2, 2 3 a.m. 3 a.m. UK time, kind of the dead time of the market. The UK woke up the next morning on Saturday to play their foot champions games. They wanted to try this card out. The position changed Griezmann. He went up all the way back to 680,000 coins. This card right here went from 500 to 680 last year on the Xbox after that first night. So these cards last year were a perfect and prime example of being able to flip cards, the new special cards from the new promo that first first night. I mean, I remember flipping soccer tees for like 15, 20K a card. I remember flipping this guy right here. Loftus Cheek was like 15, like 12, 13K that very first night. He almost went to discard. The next morning, he went all the way up to 28,000 coins. Just the power of the Premier League cards, power of the English uh, nationality, and just how easy people could slot a card like that in their team. So that's the kind of stuff we're going to be looking out for with this promo as well. Um, other areas of the market that you could see, you could see move. Obviously, high rateds are really, really inflated right now, especially some of the really high tier guys like uh, Vertonghen is a an 87 rated. It's still like 24, 25 thousand coins for an 87. You know, an 80. An 89 rated card, like 40,000 coins. They're up like five, six K cards from where they were at their lowest point. That's the kind of stuff that you really have to be careful with because I'm not going to advise, hey, go do a club stock or invest in some of the high rateds at, at their current prices. I really want to see them get hit with the packs this weekend. If you see those dip low, possibly this weekend, the team league packs are going to be gone by the end of this week. The, all that we're going to have in the squad building section are like the leftover player of the months that are going to be here. Um, and all these upgrades are going to be gone by tomorrow. So before this promo comes, they're going to be gone. We'll just have a couple extra SBCs left in here and the base icon. So I think you should see a dip on the prices of the 83s of the 84s. Uh, some of the higher rated S cards could stay a little bit higher, but um, I think people will do less icon upgrade SBCs just because it won't be able to craft them with the 81 to 87 or the 82 plus pack. So you might see those cards drop a little bit as well. Again, I would expect more SBCs from this promo. I would expect a cool team, cool set of cards and uh, probably an objective card as well. I mean, they've been doing, they've been doing actually not too bad with some of these objectives. The Josh King definitely have to work your butt off for. You have to do like the chips. What is it? You have to do um, score volley. That's what it is. Score volley in four separate rivals matches. If this was FIFA 19, you could do that in one game. But uh, this is not FIFA 19. It's hard to score goals in this game. So they're definitely making you grind for a card like this. But but it's a, it's a solid card. 
And that's what we want, right? That's what people wanted this year. And they we're getting the objectives. But like this Black Friday objective right here was money. Um, winning certain matches from certain game modes. How many am I off on this? I'm 10 out of 15. I might have to play, try to play some games before these go away. But that's how I feel about Team the Group Shades, boys. Will I see a massive crash in the market in terms of other areas of special cards? Not really that much. And if there is, it's going to be centralized to Thursday night and Friday morning is when you're going to see any panic. And it's going to shoot right back up into Friday night, into Weekend League. Because again, we are post Black Friday. People have tons of coins on this game. So I don't think you have to go out and sell your team. I don't think there's anything that you have to do in terms of getting ready for this promo, honestly. Um, until we actually get a loading screen. And let's say there's a guy like uh, Neymar that comes out again, get, uh, gets a position change card. Maybe not Neymar, but maybe, I don't know. Whatever example it is, a position change card comes out in the game and your card, like an inform or whatever, just drops in the panic. Again, it's probably going to be super duper overpriced and super duper overvalued that first day that you're going to be able to, if you really want to sell that card, sell it the next day after all the panic selling. And then that card goes back up because the new promo card is still very, very expensive. And that's just one thing. That's a good, um, just tr uh, trading knowledge that you guys can pick up on is um, a lot of times when that very top tier card is so much higher than the other one and there's panic selling on that next highest card, that next highest card is going to rebound back up a little bit just because people have to use that card in their team, right? Especially like in a guy like, like Neymar last year. He was the absolute best example you could possibly ask for just because he was so meta and so used in that game. So remember, watch for the panic selling Thursday night, Friday morning. Is there anything you can do to prepare, prepare for this? I don't really think you can. Um, maybe stock the club with like uh, just rare golds and non-rare golds from rewards tonight. If you see the high rates drop a little bit from rewards today, maybe you see like 84 rated players at like 4K, 85s at seven, and then 86 is at like 12, then I would say maybe do a club stock on a few of those if you can get them on bid or whatever. But other than that, just sit tight, man. Sit tight and wait and see what happens this weekend. And uh, just keep in mind the panic and the flipping opportunity that these new cards should have on this game. And of course, keep your eye out for panic selling on all areas of the market, but especially road to the finals because they are going to get um, put back and they are going to get upgraded this next week. So watch some of that stuff as well. Icons shouldn't really move um, because none of these cards, not quite that many of them yet, are getting to an icon level. You might see some icons even go up based on what cards we get uh, for for this promo and what links could possibly open up because of that. So Team of the Group Stage promo this weekend it should be a fun one. It was a fun promo last year as a pack-based promo. Some people com kind of complained again because the upgrades weren't that good if we take one last look at the team. Some people complained because they weren't that good, uh, but it was still a solid promo. Still a fun couple of days. Some solid content in terms of SBCs and objectives. And uh, just cool new cards that were on the game that we get to trade with and we get to try out in our teams and uh, possibly make some new squads with, with uh, the position changes and everything like that. So, and it's also cool that it's related to Champions League, which is, uh, I'm so glad that EA got those licenses back from Pez because it just has allowed for a ton of new content and a lot of cool content to a, um, a league of games and the, the championship football that we like to see and enjoy watching. So... I'm excited for this promo this week. That's all I can say about that. Should be a fun one. We're going to make some coins and have fun while doing it, okay? If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Photo Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.